necrophiliac says, sleeping, shit, I thought she was dead. This is the story of monster operatives. And then I blasted her in the face. Like a Jackson Pollock. What, like a Houdini? Mm -mm. I call it the Jersey Turnpike. But it was magical. I don't know why her uh, hands were cuffed to her ankles. Man, you date the weirdest chicks. No date, man, no date. Just sex. I don't like to be tied down by labels. But I can never say enough how much I love being tied up. Well, uh, we can sit here all day and I can listen about your sexual conquest, but I don't think that's why we snuck out. Left Op 11 back at the hotel. I think we have a real problem here with him. For the first time, man, I don't think we could trust him. What do you mean by that? You asked me if things seem right, and I told you no. Well, you also told me you sodomized a gopher. <laughs> right on my face. Op 11's brother, until last night, was dead. What the fuck do you mean? I mean, he was dead. I mean, Op 11's always told me that his brother was killed by a bloodsucker. Dead. Maybe he's got more than one brother. Nah, uh, he's never mentioned one. That's why he took Rook on him. Operative 11 shows up the next day. He says he knows what it's like. And who the fuck is this guy? You saw the resemblance, man. You were there. This dude seemed to know an awful lot about Op 11 and a little bit more about us than I'd care to think about. What are you thinking, Madness? I think that tonight's is not necessarily a chance just for Rook. I'm not quite sure yet, but whoever this guy is, he definitely seems to have some kind of hold over Op 11. I'm usually a black and white type of guy. There's too many shades of gray around here. Then we don't go. No, we go. Op 11's in some sort of trouble. And we gotta help him. Guys. I never let a friend down. Friends. Uh, sir, some lady uh, said she was in a hurry, had to run, but she wanted me to give you this. Cool, thanks, bro. What are you waiting for a tip? Get out of here. What's that? Some chick's phone number. She wants me to give her a call later. God damn, this flies at you, don't you? Like shit to the plastic sheets on the set of a German Scheiser video right after you yank the anal beads out of her ass, but just before she wipes it all over her fucking chestal section. That's definitely not my cup of tea. You know you love it. So where did you say you went? Uh, you went to, uh, go blow out some steam, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. Well, you two went off alone this morning. What was that all about? Well, he said he wanted a cup of coffee. Uh, he said he didn't want to disturb you. What the hell did you guys talk about? Well, uh, mostly about his, uh, sexual exploits and, uh, you know, uh, jerk, jumping for it. Oh, sorry. Well, okay. And we got two hours before we're supposed to meet up at the old bath nest. He better show up. I'm sure he'll show up. Uh, you know, madness is a goofball and all, but he's pretty reliable. Hey, it was nice to call. Seeing you, I'm glad I did too. So what do you want to do tonight? I don't have a whole lot of time, but I think maybe we can, uh, you know, go get a drink and then talk about getting uh, back together later. How about we find a dark spot, have some fun. See you about later. Oh, you know. Oh. Ah. Ah. Wash the teeth. Ow. Ah. Oh, fuck! Fuck!